Hi everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. Okay, today's video is just a weekly favorite. You guys, I am on the road right now. I am traveling. I have um, probably just left San Francisco, left my um, peeps at Beautylish. I was there for a couple days for the launch of The Ordinary Skincare, which I cannot wait to review and talk to you guys all about when I get home. Um, I'm headed to Boise, Idaho right now to celebrate my very best friend's 40th birthday, and I cannot wait. And from Boise, I go straight to Vegas to work with some of the Sephoras that are getting Natasha Denona in stores. So I'll be working with them for the big launch of that, which is really exciting. So if you're in the Vegas area, leave me a comment so I can tell you where I'm going to be so you can come get a hug. Um, but okay, enough about that. Probably none of you guys are in Vegas. So uh, let me talk to you about some of my weekly favorites. I've got five great things that I just am obsessed with. One of them is this lip pencil, and I'm not a huge lip pencil person, but I have wanted this. I've almost bought this like five times. I almost bought this in January when Natalie was here, and one of my BFFs, Kim, she sent me this awesome package. This is the Lancome Natural Mauve, and oh my gosh, I literally have just wanted this. It's like the perfect mauve mauve. Uh, however you say it, however you pronounce it. I pronounce it mauve, uh, but both of those where both of those ways work. Uh, it's just so pretty. It's like that your lips, but better. Let me see if I can find, uh, you guys know that I love Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. So I think I have that right here so that I can just give you a comparison because I know a lot of you guys are the, you're on team pillow talk with me. So you can see actually how different they really are. So uh, the Lancome, uh, natural mauve definitely is a little bit more of that mauve tone and pillow talk has more of like a pink just like a like a pink undertone to it whereas natural mauve has more of like a bit of a brown kind of like flesh toned undertone to it so that's a sometimes comparisons like that are really nice okay another thing that I'm like obsessed with it's actually what's on my lips today which is so subtle and so beautiful it's the Tom Ford uh and the shade is 04 Fathom. This is their lip balm that came out with the Soleil collection. And it looks so bright and scary, but it just is the perfect little like strawberry kissed lips. And I love it. I concentrate it right in the pout, which gives you a little bit more of that popsicle stained lip that is so cute. Okay, something that got sent to me from Givenchy because I'm part of Octoly is their Prism Libre and this is their Shade 1 Pastel uh, Matte Finish and Enhanced Radiance Loose Powder. This is awesome. Where has this been my whole life? I feel like this is the um, Meteorites, but better or different and easier to use. So it is a quad. Can you hear my roommates laughing? It's a, it comes in a quad. So you have blue, green, pink, and purple. So you're going to get a little bit of like neutralizing and a lot of brightening effect from this. And I just poked a couple holes in these so you don't have like a huge mess. Like I left the sticker on just to um, needle and poke some holes in them and then just shake a little bit into the top and dust it on my face. It's so beautiful. I love it. It's so great. Uh, next thing is the Jouer Longwear Eye Brightening Primer. Now I've been like a long live painterly for MAC, like paint pot. That's been my primer for like a decade, probably my eye primer and I love it. But I recently picked up this Jouer one and cannot stop using it. I think I'm actually almost out of it, which I'm kind of bummed, even though you barely need any. And it does have a nice little doe foot applicator, so it makes it really easy. I don't actually apply it with the applicator. I just twist it up, get some on my finger, and put it on my eye that way. Uh, I feel like you're wasting less product if you do it that way, but this gives you a really nice, it neutralizes your eyes, gives you a really nice, like, primed lid. Sorry, I just realized as I was filming, I'm like, why is my color so off. It's because my overhead, stupid overhead lighting was on. So I apologize for the first part of this video. Let me show you these swatches again in better lighting that have like such a like yellow cast to it. <clears throat> my bad. Anyway, this neutralizes those under eyes really, really well. Oh my gosh, what am I saying? This neutralizes those eyelids really well and actually gives a long wearing base to your shadow without drying anything out. So it's kind of nice. Uh, next up, 
You guys, I'm sorry to show you this, but it's I'm obsessed with it. You can't even tell that I've used it. But I've been using it with the old Wayne Goss um, 10 brush. Is that what it is? I have already pa I have it packed. So I'm like filming these right before I go to the airport. Uh, so I have it packed because one of you suggested that's a great use for it. Instead of foundation, you said to use it for bronzer and honey. You were right. And that is all I've been doing. But this is Gold Dust from Soleil. And it's just beautiful. It's so nice for like my fair to light like skin tone. And oh, it's just like really beautiful. It's kind of like warms up your face without giving you like any sort of like orangey like bronze. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So have you, if you haven't seen my Tom Ford Soleil video, I'll link that for you guys so you can check that out. And then something that I just think is like so fantastic that I just have to tell you about. So Makeup Geek just started doing this thing where they do these full face bundles. And this is the natural bundle. And it's like so perfect for me. It's pre-packaged. It's like a pre-selected like selected bundle of things. Two blushes, six shadows, and then three lipsticks. The two blushes that are in this one are Cherish, which I like that one a lot and soulmate so you're getting kind of like more of a neutrally peach color and then more of like a pink like a it's pretty neutral it's not even like a blue tone pink but it's like a rosier cheek color and then you're getting six really beautiful neutral shadows um i'm gonna link this down below so you can see all those like shadows and that kind of stuff and then it comes with the three lip products that it comes with is the showstopper in do si do i haven't used the lips I, haven't, I just haven't used these yet, but I did pack this bundle to travel with because I'm like so excited about it. So that is the um, Showstopper Creams, Cream Sat, no, Cream Stain. What is this one? Okay, so that is the Showstopper Cream Stain in do -Si do right there. Really nice, like neutral, like very nude. And then it comes with Iconic in Rare. which is definitely like a very kind of like 90s brown tone. I probably would have picked a different one than Rare to put with this bundle, uh, but nobody was asking my opinion. And then it comes with the Plush Cream in Jet Setter, which is also a really great color, but it's more of that like terracotta brown nude. So I think like in terms of the lips, these two aren't quite right for me. But the cream stain in do, -Si do is really beautiful for like a just nude lip. So anyway, I just think these are really cool. And like I said, I'm traveling with this. So I cannot wait because I just feel like this is like perfect eye look, perfect cheeks, easy. And it comes with the palette as well, which I love. So these are my favorites for this week. I'll link everything down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget if you are in Vegas, uh, let me know so that I can figure out how to say hi. And if you haven't subscribed yet to A Glittery Life, go ahead and do that now. Anytime you click that subscribe button and you're a new subscriber, it's like sending me a little cyber love. So I appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. Have a good day. Bye.